Unberthing is the process of removing a vessel from the wharf. Maneuvers are for a single screw ship with a right-hand fixed pitch propeller. Procedures to be followed when unberthing in comms at port side and starboard side. Unberthing at port side. Single up to a line and a spring forward and aft. Let go all lines aft. Heave away on the headline forward to camp the stern of the vessel away from the wharf. Camped must be at least 40 degrees. This can also be achieved by going dead slow ahead on the engine with rudder put hard to port. In this case, the spring must be a good strong line. After the stern has canted out sufficiently, let go the head line. Put the engines on dead slow astern. Let go the spring only after vessel has gathered sternway. Clear the wharf, stern first. Note the transverse thrust will straighten the vessel. This is the reason for a large stern cant. Note, ensure that the bow does not touch the wharf when opening the stern. Unberthing at starboard side. Single up to a line and a spring forward and aft. Let go all lines aft. Heave away on the headline forward to cant the stern of the vessel away from the wharf. Cant must be about 20 degrees. This cant can also be achieved by going DS ahead on the engine with rudder put hard to starboard. In this case, the spring must be a good strong line. After the stern has canted out sufficiently, let go the head line. Put the engines on DS astern. Let go the spring only after the vessel has gathered sternway. Clear the wharf, stern first, vessel will continue to swing to starboard. Complete the 180 degree swing, if required, after which the vessel can be conned to her final departure course. Note, ensure that the bow does not touch the wharf when opening the stern. Important point. It is preferable to leave the berth stern first in comms for the safety of the propeller, though not a must. The maneuvers described are the most preferable, but a ship handler could leave the berth bow first if he so desires.